We're gonna start with this simple vector layer and transform this into a nice chromatic logo animation. Hi, I'm Mike Lewis and in today's video we're gonna create a cool chromatic logo animation, of course using our tool Adobe After Effects. So without further talking, let's go straight to Adobe After Effects and do some magic. The first step will be to go to Google and just type the logo that you are looking for. In my case it's gonna be Facebook and we want the vector file of the logo. So just type the Facebook vector logo. I'm gonna go with the first website and then I think this should work. And we move to After Effects. We create a new composition. Of course let's go with a 4K. So 3840, 2160. And in this case, let's uh, maybe try 24 frames and duration of the clip, I will put 12 seconds. We will see later how long it's gonna be. For now, let's make our background a bit brighter. Let's import our logo in a vector format, of course. And let's import this in a composition kind. Double click and here we go. Our Facebook logo. Now you can see that we've got those pixels that we don't want to have. It's a bit blurry. Just click the right mouse button on our layer and then create shapes from vector layer. We've got a shape which was created from our Adobe Illustrator file. And now let's copy this Ctrl C or Command C and Ctrl V on our composition. Now I'm gonna place it at the center. I'm gonna make sure that the anchor point is at the center and align this layer with our composition, clicking here and here. Let's just make it white, scale it a bit, okay. And now let's do some magic with it. The first step, just make sure that in composition settings you've got in a 3D renderer tab Cinema 4D selected. It's really important to create this 3D kind of effect in a next step. And now let's click here and in this way our layer is a 3D layer. So if we rotate it a bit you can see that it behaves like a 3D layer. Okay, we need this because we want to create this and depth effect. So now let's go to geometry options. You can see that there's extrusion depth. Let's increase it a bit. Let's also rotate it a bit to see what we are doing. And now we can see we've got this depth. It doesn't look nice, but trust me, it's gonna be. Let's import an HDR image. You can just go to Google free and then HDR studio maps. We've got some nice maps here. I already have one, so I'm gonna just import this one. This is our map. We want to our logo be affected by this map. So we need to make sure that this map is set as an environment map. Let's click right mouse button on this layer and click environment layer. So now you can see it disappeared, but if we now go to material options, and make sure that reflection intensity is on 100%. We can see that this and uh, this HDR map is affecting our 3D layer. And in this way, we can do some nice stuff. We can animate the rotation of this map and you can see how the light is nicely placed on our logo. But let's also change one thing. We want to make sure that we only have our extrusion depth on, on stroke. So let's turn off the fill and add stroke. And this way we only extrude the stroke. Let's go with 10. And we can also play a bit with our bevel style. Concave looks nice. Let's keep concave mode. Let's change the color of the background a bit. And now let's play with our environment layer. Oh, this looks nice. I'm gonna also decrease the reflection sharpness to 5%. In this way you can see that the reflections are a bit more blurry, but they also have this uh, kind of noisy texture, which I really, really like. It gives a bit of retro feel, but of course you can increase this noise. Let's go into settings and then here options. You need to just increase the quality. Of course, the render time is gonna be much, much longer, but in this way you can reduce those noise 
and keep this nice blurry reflection. I'm gonna stick with this. Maybe I will increase it to 15%. And now let's create a new composition and let's import our composition. And now let's play a bit with a general look of the scene. I create a new solid layer. I'm gonna go with dark blue. I will change the blending mode to soft light. We can see that our layer is pretty, pretty dark. Let's go to composition one, create a new adjustment layer and put levers effect and increase a bit. Okay, let's create a new shape layer and create a circle at the center, fill it with white color, add a fast box blur effect, put it beneath our logo, let's also increase the radius, we can go from white to some kind of bluish. Okay, create a new adjustment layer, put our favorite deep glow effect and now let's also decrease the background to make sure that the focus is at the center and play with some values. In deep glow, I'm gonna go with 50% or maybe not. Just find a perfect value. Enable chromatic aberration. I'll also duplicate the comp layer and change the blending mode to hard light and decrease opacity a bit. In this way we've got those, those reflections a bit stronger and the deep glow is working a bit better. Let's create a new adjustment layer and add a curse effect and play with some values, increase some blues. Okay, let's duplicate our layer one more time, change the blending mode to linear dodge, keep the opacity at the 27% and go to deep glow and decrease the exposure a bit. Let's see if this looks nice. We can create a new adjustment layer. Also, let's keep the timeline clean, so I'm gonna rename those layers. Deep glow, CC, which means color correction, and here, noise. It's nice vintage kind of effect. We can add again curse layer to do some final touch-ups. Maybe we can increase the scale or duplicate, increase the scale and play with the scene a bit. And we can animate this. So for example, duration of this small motion should be about three seconds. So let's put the final keyframes here and change those keyframes at the beginning. Of course, let's easy ease them. I'm gonna select the first two keyframes, easy ease them, then go to graph editor, play with these curves. Let's decrease the resolution to quarter. You can see that because of those 3D layers and those reflections happening here and there, our viewport is lagging a bit, but with those 3D stuff inside After Effects, it's a normal thing. So don't worry about this, just be patient. Okay. Okay, let's check a few frames to see how it looks. Ooh. Nice. And at the end we can see this light going from the top. I also play with curves again to have this drastic kind of effect. I really like this uh, strong kind of feel where you have uh, this strong glow effect going on and also a high contrast. Okay, so now let's render this scene and see how it looks. And that's it for today's video, I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something from it. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. And of course, have fun with it. You can also follow me on Instagram, the link is down in the description. And to the next time, bye.